So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at something very new in NVIDIA Omniverse. This is the adaptive sampling for path tracing rendering. All right, so here we are in NVIDIA Omniverse Create. This is the recent version 2022.3. But just to kind of show you what this does, I'm going to render two exact images with adaptive sampling on and adaptive sampling off. So here we are. Here's a scene that I'm kind of working on right now. It's just a little short idea. And right now what you're looking at, this is real time. That's why it's really dark. And again, one of the greatest things about path tracing is that you get some pretty nice realistic bounces. And this is what this looks like with path tracing on. So I'm not going to spoil this. We're going to go ahead and render it. I only have one light up there, which is freaking crazy. If you think about that real time versus path tracing with one light. Okay, so let's go ahead and render this out. So I'm going to go to window and I'm going to rendering movie capture. And I'm not going to change too much here. We're just going to make sure that it is set to path tracing. I'm going to render 1,000 samples. Because if I render a lot of samples, you might not see the difference as far as noise goes. So we're going to go extreme with this one. I'm going to set this to 1,000 samples. And I'm going to go to rendering. And then I'll change this from real time to path tracing. And I turn off the noising. All right, so this is crazy. I'm going to turn off the noising, and then I'm going to go to path tracing, and I have it off right here. It's set to off. I don't have that check mark, so I'm going to render this real quick. 1,000 samples at 1920 by 1080 on the RTX 4090, so I'm going to name it No Adaptive Sampling, and we're going to render the current frame. Okay, so that rendered around 47 seconds. So now what we're going to do is simply turn that on. So I'm going to go to path tracing once again. And I'm going to put a check mark on this, and I'm just going to change this to adaptive sampling. And then render. Okay, so with adaptive sampling, it rendered about 55 seconds. So it is a little bit more. So the next step is we're going to open up After Effects and we're going to compare the two images. Okay, so I have these two images here. I'm just going to drag and drop it to After Effects. And then what I'll do is I'll drag the no adapting sampling first, 1920 by 1080. And then what I'll do is I'll put the one at the bottom the one with adaptive sampling. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is without adaptive sampling. As you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here. This is 400% a 1920 by 1080. Pay attention around this area because now I'm gonna turn this off to show you the with adaptive sampling. And as you can see, that noise right there actually cleans up pretty nicely. So basically what adaptive sampling is doing is that for the same exact sample count, in our case, 1000 samples, we are getting less noise when we enable that option. Now, that is absolutely humongous. That is a great feature because with path tracing, you're gonna need a lot of samples, okay? So basically, in theory, now with adaptive sampling on, we should need less sampling to get a clean image. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Here we go again with the before. You can see the face. Let me go ahead and zoom in all the way. Just, you know, make sure that compression doesn't ruin it. Now, as you can see right here at 800%, you can see that with adaptive, it is less noisy. Looks pretty good. At 1,000 samples, path tracing, that looks incredible. <laughs> that actually looks pretty darn good. And that was a 55-second render in path tracing with one GPU. Again, I'm going to say this over and over again. The NVIDIA Omniverse can take two, three, four RTX A6000s. So they stack... And my goodness, this this just looks awesome. And and again, I'm going to be working on this scene here whenever I get a chance. Uh, we're going to have some fun in here. Looks pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for y'all. That is the new feature in Path Tracing in Video Omniverse. Now, this isn't Create. I'm hoping that it will go to Machinima as well. If you haven't done so, make sure to check out the course that I created recently, uh, How to Make a Movie with Unreal Engine 5 Meta Humans. Check it out on ArtStation. I'll put the link in the description below. Peace out.